Hey everyone, I just wanted to drop in for a quick discussion about the CPI print tomorrow because I think it could be very important in determining where the markets head from here, both legacy and crypto markets. So the CPI print is going to be at 8.30 a.m. tomorrow, Wednesday, August 10th. We're going to be getting that brand new data that's going to be very telling on where we are with inflation in the Fed. So if you're not familiar, the CPI is the Consumer Price Index. And basically what this measures is how expensive is life in America right now? It's an index that tracks the average cost of what most Americans are going to need from day to day. So there's two different types of CPI. It's important to understand that because the market usually reacts to core CPI rather than CPI. So CPI basically tracks everything, but core CPI takes out food and energy. The reason it takes out food and energy is because these two sectors can be heavily influenced by seasonality. So for food, for example, you know, if certain fruits and vegetables are in season, it's gonna affect the prices of those fruits and vegetables. Uh, when it comes to energy, if it's a really cold winter somewhere, energy is gonna be more expensive. Um, that you, you get the idea. So core CPI is the reason why the markets usually react. They're gonna look at that number. And the last time we had a CPI print, it was much higher than was expected, than was targeted, and the market reacted in a very negative way. It was basically the moment when we realized like, oh, we really are in a bear market here. We could be heading for a full-blown recession um, if we're not in it already based on the actual term of the recession we already are. So what's really interesting about tomorrow is I could see it going basically one of three ways. So the first way is if we see the inflation higher than it was last time as it comes to core CPI, so if that core CPI number is higher than the one we saw before, it means in theory that inflation is still going up. We have no idea how much longer it's going to go up. And even more importantly, it means that the Fed's rate hikes, all of the rate hikes that we've seen this year are not working at least to a tangible level to stop inflation. So in my opinion, if that happens, the markets are going to absolutely panic and we're going to see a lot of downturn. We're going to see basically a intraday crash. I think both with legacy and crypto, we're going to see a lot of red across the board. However, if that number comes in even slightly lower, and I think this is actually pretty possible, um, but you know, who knows? We're going to find out tomorrow. It doesn't really uh, do any good to speculate. But if it is a little bit lower uh, than we have seen before, and even you know, just the last CPI print, if it's just a little bit lower than that mark, what we could actually see is a market rally. This is because most um, you know, market players are gonna assume that that means that inflation has either peaked or it's getting close to peaking. And uh, if that happens, that means that the Fed is, what they're doing is working and we're gonna see inflation continue to go down. And it probably means that the first opportunity that they're gonna get, the Fed is gonna take their foot off the gas a little bit because they don't wanna go too far down this road with the rate hikes. Every time that they're gonna do this, the markets are gonna go down and we're gonna get closer and closer to a recession. And the last thing that the Fed wants is a recession and an inflation crisis at the exact same time. That's absolute disaster. So that's what they're trying to avoid. And it'll be really interesting to see what happens tomorrow. So I said one of three. The third option is that this is a complete sell the news event. We've talked about sell the news events before. Uh, this is something that a lot of people are anticipating. And regardless of what we see, it's not going to be much of an effect on the market because most of that volatility has already happened. We saw a downturn across the markets today, um, which could have been basically priced in for what we're going to see tomorrow. And maybe we see a little bit of a, re a relief rally, but it dies pretty quickly. Um, so that's basically what I see happening. And it really, really depends on that metric. So 8.30 a.m. tomorrow, it's an hour before the traditional markets open. I think when it comes to crypto specifically, if we see that number come down even just a little bit, it's just theoretical that you could assume that inflation has peaked. And if we hear those words from Jerome Powell or anyone else um, within the FOMC, we're going to see markets react accordingly and crypto markets are going to love that, at least in the short term. We're talking directionally within the next few weeks. I'm not trying to say we're out of a bear market. We're certainly not. I'm not trying to say we're going into a full-blown uh, depression. We're certainly not, at least to this point. It's just going to be really important to find out that number tomorrow. So I'm paying close attention to it. I would definitely suggest uh, paying close attention to it as well. If you guys have any questions, comments, when it, it comes to the CPI print, be sure to put that in the comment section below. Really appreciate you watching the video and we're going to see what happens tomorrow. It could be exciting.